Hey guys, welcome to my channel Stock My Closet. For today's project, I have taken mull cotton in two prints. And this is the measurement I'm using. You can adjust it according to your requirement. As I'm making 10 kali kurti, firstly I'll cut the kali pattern. And for that, I have taken this black plain fabric. You can cut pattern on paper as well. This is on fold. Length is 36 inch, that is kurti length and width is 6 inch. Now before marking the measurements, let me explain the calculations. For curly pattern, we need these measurements. Now I'll add ease in chest, burst, waist and hip measurement. So I've added 2 inch of ease for chest and burst, 3 inch of ease for waist and 4 inch of ease for hip measurement. Now divide all measurements by the number of kalis which is 10 for my kurti. So after dividing all measurements by 10, I'll get shoulder 1.35, chest 3.2, burst 3.4, waist 2.9, hip 4 and bottom 9. So these are the measurements for kali. It's very easy to calculate, right? Now last step. Divide all round measurements by 2 because I'll be marking measurements on the unfold fabric. So I need half of round measurements. Now I'll mark the measurements. Shoulder is 1.35 inch. From the top mark half of armhole round that is 7 inch for my measurement. Now on this line I'll mark chest measurement. That is 1.6 inch. From the top, mark a point at 10.5 inch shoulder to burst measurement, 14 inch shoulder to waist measurement, and 21 inch shoulder to hip measurement. Burst is 1.7 inch, waist is 1.45 inch, hip is 2 inch. Now join these points. Now I'll mark the bottom measurement that is 4.5 inch. Adding half inch for seam allowance. It's your choice you can take quarter inch as well. So marking of Kali is complete. Now I'll cut it. So I've cut the Kali and this is how it will look. Now I'll cut it on the main fabric. I have taken two prints, from floral print I will cut 6 kalis and from the booty print I will cut 4 kalis. Take the fabric and fold it by half in length. So here I have two layers of fabric. Now place the kali like this. I haven't added seam allowance for the length in pattern so I'm adding it here on the main fabric. Just add it in the pattern because it will be easy for you. Now I'll cut it. So I have cut it, two kalis are ready, now I will cut another pair of kalis and for that just flip the pattern and place it on the main fabric like this. Again I am adding seam allowance for the length and I will cut it. I already had this fabric but for four kalis you will need only one meter of fabric so just calculate and buy fabric accordingly. So I've cut 4 kalis from this fabric. Now I'll cut 6 kalis from second fabric. Again I have folded the fabric by half in length. So I have 2 layers of fabric. Now just place the kali and cut it. So I've cut 2 kalis. 
Now for rest of the four kalis, I'll add one inch of seam allowance on one side of the kali for side fitting seam. And now I'll cut it. Now flip the kali and place it on the fabric like this and cut it. So I have cut it. These two kalis have side seam allowance and this is the center kali. With this cutting of kurti is complete. Now I'll stitch it. I have taken floral print kali as center and two booty print kalis place side kali on the center kali right sides together and make a stitch on one side of the kali So I made a stitch, now I'll overlock it. So I have stitched two kalis. Now I'll place another side kali on the center kali, right sides together and I'll make a stitch. Similarly, I have attached all kalis, 5 for front and 5 for back. Fold both front and back by half in width to remark the measurements. For shoulder, take half of shoulder width, that is 6.75 inch for my measurement. I am making both neck, so I will take neck width 4 inch. Mark half inch downwards for shoulder slope and join it to the neck width point. Mark half of armhole round that is 7 inch in my measurement. I am deducting half inch as this is sleeveless kurti. Mark 1 inch inwards for front armhole curve and join it to the shoulder slope point. From the top mark a point at 10.5 inch shoulder to burst measurement, 14 inch shoulder to waist measurement and 21 inch shoulder to hip measurement chest is 8 inch burst is 8.5 inch waist is 7.25 inch and hip is 10 inch join these points Now I'll draw front and back armhole curves, adding 1 inch for seam allowance. And I'll cut it. Now I'll draw neckline. Neck depth is 4.5 inch, adding half inch for seam allowance. So I'll mark a point at 5 inch. Neck width is same 4 inch. Now I'll draw boat shape. And I'll cut it. So marking and cutting is complete. Now I'll finish the front neckline. To finish front neckline, I've taken rectangular piece of same fabric as facing. I've finished the front neckline. Now join front and back, right sides together. And stitch shoulder slope on both sides. I made a stitch, now overlock it. 
Now I'll finish both armholes using bias tape. Place the bias tape on the armhole right sides together and make a stitch. So I made a stitch. Now fold the bias tape towards the wrong side like this. And make a stitch on the inner edge. So I made a stitch. Now I'll trim the excess fabric. Fold the bias tape towards the wrong side and make a stitch to secure it. Now I'll finish the bottom round and for that just double fold the seam allowance and make a stitch to secure it. So I finished the bottom round. Now I'll stitch the side fitting seam. And with this my kurti is ready and this is how it looks. I really love this pattern. Fitting is perfect. Combination of two prints is looking really beautiful. And I hope you find this video helpful. If you have any query ask me in the comment section and thanks for watching guys i hope you like this video if you do please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family and do subscribe my channel for more such videos and i'll see you soon till then take care bye bye